Some of you might have been busy with your horses doing yoga together. So here are five more poses for you. These are slightly more advanced, so if you're new to the idea of doing yoga on the horse, go and watch our first video before doing these poses here. Some few viewers' feedback on our first video was about horse welfare and whether the horse likes me to do yoga on her back. This is an important issue not every horse is suited to doing yoga with and if you plan to attempt this you should choose your horse carefully. Our horse Winnie was born on our farm and all her life she has known us and doing things with us has been part of her life always. Whether that is ploughing, riding, swimming or yoga. Winnie is a fit horse with well developed muscles. Longissimus dorsi is the name of the muscle running along the length of her back which helps to carry the rider's weight. I make sure to give her plenty of exercises to keep that muscle strong and supple. So carrying me whether I do yoga or not is no bother to her. As to standing still and letting me do weird things on her back, well Winnie actually quite likes standing still doing nothing much and doesn't mind if I do weird things on her back at the same time. She enjoys her friendship with us and she has much to give. That is one reason why yoga on the horse can be so great. Horses share their calm with us and the effects on us are that we get calmer and more relaxed too. Why is that you might wonder? Well, a horse breathes up to 12 times per minute, whereas we can breathe up to 20 times. And our heart rate can be up to 100 beats per minute. A horse's can be as low as 36 beats. The interesting thing about this is that we tend to tune into our environment and adjust our own energy levels accordingly. So that's why horses can have such a calming effect on us. Perfect for getting stuck into yoga. Here are five more poses I want to show you. Again, before you try any of this yourself, make sure you know how to do yoga and choose your horse carefully and then go and have some fun. The locust starts from the cobra pose. So again, find a comfortable position first with your hips well connected to the horse's back. Then stretch your arms and legs as far as you can. Try not to look up too much, rather try to lengthen your neck by looking forward downwards. The boat pose is probably one of the most advanced poses for doing on the horse. And you should really only attempt this if you're confident and fit in doing yoga, as it can be quite hard for your lower back and belly. To start with, try this pose with your feet resting on the horse's neck, just in front of the withers, with your hands resting behind you on the horse's back. Then you can try to lift your legs up. And if that feels okay and stable, try to stretch your arms forward. I find this gives you more stability on the horse's back than stretching your arms sideways. But of course, depending on your yoga experience and on the horse you're using, you might find a different way of doing the boat. We'd be interested to hear your suggestion. For the bridge, start by lying back on your horse from a riding position. Then lift your legs up and rest your feet on the horse's shoulders. Then push your hips up. Your shins should move forward slightly. Keep your knees a hand's width apart and keep them in that position by imagining that you hold a block of wood between your knees. If you feel stable and comfortable with this, Move your hands underneath you, interlace your fingers and let them rest on your horse's back. This will help open up your chest. Breathe. Over. 
for the low lunge. If you have a girth on your horse, you can use this to help your foot get in a firm position on your horse's back. Your upright knee should not move in front of your ankle. Yeah, but as you're using this and... knee for balancing yourself, it might not be possible to keep it in the correct position all the time. That's okay. After all, your safety comes first. And you should not risk falling off the horse by attempting too hard to do a pose correctly. You can stretch your arms to the sides or above your head, whichever feels best. Breathe and enjoy the views. The child pose is great for finishing off. It is very relaxing. Start from a riding position. Pull your knees up and get them in a stable position on your horse's back. Then lean forward and rest your head on your horse's crest. Thank you, Katrin, for your advice and support with all things yoga and for minding Winnie on the beach. And a big thank you to Winnie, my fabulous yoga supporting horse.